Hi everyone, I'm Chef Danielle Shine and I am here today at Raw Religion. In the heart of London, Raw Religion is revolutionising the way Londoners eat by offering raw, organic, vegan, delicious, healthy food. And I am lucky because John, the owner, is here with me today to teach me how to make a very special dish that I love. What are we making, John? Well, thanks for the lovely introduction, Danielle. Today we are making one of our specialties. It's a meatball marinara, yeah. pasta, meat, yeah. all the things that you wouldn't expect from a raw vegan place. No. How can so, you have raw pasta? I don't know. This is very confusing to me. And meatballs, how can you have organic plant-based meatballs? Ah, great question. So we'll start off with that. We'll start off with the meatballs. Cool. Let's do it. Obviously we're not using meat, so we're using walnuts. Okay, so we start with walnuts. Yes. And straight into the food processor. What do we put in next? Okay, so now we're gonna add uh, a few of the oils just to help it blend and of okay. course uh, for flavoring. Mm -hmm. You need to have olive oil. How, how can oh you have an Italian you dish? You have to have olive oil for everything. Absolutely. <laughs> After the cold pressed oil, what do we add in there? Okay, so now, again, uh, it's the- One of my favorite thing. Garlic. Love garlic. Amazing for flavor. Amazing it's also health antibacterial. I, I had a feeling you were going to say that. Yeah. So the next ingredient we're going to be adding is tamari. Okay. Which is... It's like soy sauce, but it's gluten-free. Now we come on to an ingredient which I've been led to believe is one of your favorite ingredients. It's one of my favorite ingredients. This is also most raw vegans' uh, prized possession. Mm. Nutritional yeast, an inactive form of yeast. Am I correct in saying it's one of the only ways of getting B12 in your diet? If you're it is vegan? food, plant-based B12. It's very, very rich in nutrients as well. Very high in protein. So we're onto one of our last ingredients. It's a classic lemon juice, of yeah. course. Lastly, one of the most beautiful herbs, cleansing for your blood. Mm -hmm. We've got parsley. And here we go, the on button. So, once you guys have pulsed this about three times, mm -hmm. you can gauge it by eyesight. Essentially, you don't want it to become a puree. You want there to still have okay, you yeah, can can see see little bits of nuts. Yep, yep. You want it's it not to, totally You want soft. to enjoy eating it. It's, oh, not, yeah. it's not baby food. Not at all. So now, we're going right, to so scrape this down. Oh, I'm going to help you thank with Thank you very much. We're going to yeah, pour this out into the bowl. Thank you. And it looks so good. This so, looks interesting. Hang on a minute. Is this not what we use for ice creams? for vegan ice creams, Whoa, yes. Not okay. normal ice creams, of I course. I love these. So we're gonna learn a very secret tip here. This is super cool, because I have a feeling you're gonna make some balls with this. Of That's course. genius. So that let's take a scoop, pop it out, mm -hmm. give it a little roll, and in here, we drop it in our breadcrumb mix. And I'm sure you've guessed by now, we're not, it's not real breadcrumb. It's a combination of sunflower seeds, dill, a little bit of seasoning. Okay. Again, it adds a bit of texture, a bit of color, and of course, even more flavor. So just straight in there, I'll help you. Thank you. And they already are very solid now. Yeah, they're ready to eat. Yeah. I mean, at this stage, so in the restaurant, we put them in the fridge to set okay. for maybe half an hour. But again, right. it, it's food. It's, as long as it tastes great, it's super healthy. That's true. Enjoy it. We are back. We have made the meatballs and now we are ready to make our marinara sauce. What are we making? How do we do it? So, we are going to make, well, we're obviously going to use a variety of different tomatoes to try and create a cooked flavor marinara, essentially. Fascinating. Okay, so we've got raw. Full body tomatoes. Yummy. And that's scooped out. I'm seeing the pulp. Yes. We will throw these in here. Okay. Here we go. Somewhat anticlimactic. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so now we're ready to put in the rest of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, the trick to this recipe is the next ingredient. Um, and mm. that is amazing, amazing organic. These are actually raw as well. Wow. Sun-dried tomatoes. Now, um, We've got in here, at this stage, just tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna add in our seasoning. Mm -hmm. We've got our trusty old friend, pink Himalayan salt. Love that. Yummy, yummy. Then we've got some pepper. Yes, must have pepper in a marinara sauce. Wouldn't be right otherwise. <laughs> we've got some diced up garlic. Delish. Just under a tablespoon. Okay. 
And lastly, in this Ooh, department, what is, this? is some oregano. So we've got the oregano in here okay. now. And at this stage is when we Ooh. add our wonderful basil. Basil. One of my favorite herbs in I can't the world. I feel like you just absolutely cannot have a marinara sauce without fresh basil. Olive oil, of yeah. course. Some Italian Naturally, dish. more olive oil. Lastly, the secret ingredient is oh. some beautiful dates. Yum! Now we're adding these for a little bit of sweetness. Okay. And of course, they have some good health benefits. They do, they've got a lot of fiber in them. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Once you've finished blending, Mm -hmm. Obviously, at this stage, you want to try a little bit, make sure it tastes good. Mm -hmm. uh, it should smell great because of the basil. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you can see, I've been wow. so busy here. I've been to the gym. I mean, that looks like marinara sauce. I think so, yeah. <laughs> that is just beautiful. If you guys want to have, have a little look. Okay, John, we have our marinara sauce, we have our meatballs, but where's our pasta? So... We're obviously not cooking pasta, um, uh -huh. and there's no real nutritional benefits to consuming really. pasta. Mm -mm. So what we're going to do is you can take at home whatever root vegetable you guys have. Uh -huh. So you can use butternut squash, you can use carrots even. We're using a courgette. Yeah. And essentially all we're doing is we're kind of like slicing it. Loads of people now on their food processors, they have different types of machinery that makes these little spiral. Like type. noodles. Exactly. Yum. So that's what we're doing. So we're taking a courgette. Okay. We're gonna put in a spiraling machine. Okay. End up with noodles. Then All we're right. gonna assemble it. So I'm gonna bring out some courgettes from my fridge. Okay. So here ah. we've got some courgettes that we spiralized earlier. So these are the spiralized courgettes. <laughs> so anyway, so what we're gonna do is just put a generous amount of these uh, courgette noodles here. Okay. Essentially make it look like pasta. I love that. Nice and easy. Now we're going to spoon on some marinara. Ooh. And for the piece de resistance, mm. of course, we need the meatballs. So yeah, we'll just put in. This is brilliant. Wow. Okay, so that is our non-meatball meatball marinara. That is just one plate of absolute goodness. I can't think of anything that's in there that's going to aggravate the body or the gut. That's what I love about it. Now. So try it. Leaves one more thing for us to do. Ah, our turn to try it. Uh, yeah, because I am salivating. So cheers. 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 I hope you like it, otherwise, you know, it'd be pretty awkward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's have a go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is so good. That really tastes like meat. Wow, okay, enough said. Thank you very much. It is time for us to go, but please, before we go, we're gonna tell you that the recipe is now on the Chrissy B website. Thank you so much, John, for sharing no this recipe. Thanks for having me. All the secret tips, and we will be seeing you again soon.